Hi everyone, it's Kathy Ryan here in Bundaberg, Queensland. Um, and you see before you a 12 by 16 or approximately 30 by 40 centimetre canvas. Nothing on it, just a smudge from dirty fingers. And I have my dustpan here. And it's dripping. I just washed it. And uh, so I'll do that. That won't hurt. I had some red, white and black and I'm going to wipe the bottom of this pan. Shouldn't have put it down. I have uh, paint on here from the previous pour just finished, which was rather pretty. All right, so here we are. Get over there. I'll just put that there like that. Can you see it? Yes. Now, I'm just going to pour these on and I have a small scoop. I'm going to scoop and I have a piece of tubing and just see what happens. And I want you to come and help me please. There we go. Under there. Just give it a little tilt back. And we put some black paint on here. Yes, I use my left and my right hand. I will show you, see, equal, always been able to do it, don't know why, don't much care, right, so I'm just doing that, and then this, the recipes for these paints and pouring medium you'll find below, show more under the video. I have some silicon in the red, um, but not in the black or the white. So come on dustpan, let's do our thing. There goes that finger mark. <laughs> Looks pretty on the pan too. Look at these dribbles. Good fun doing this. See what patterns you can make before your colours go into greys. <laughs> it's alright. We've got more paint there. We can liven it up if we want, which we will. Okay, so that's a bit of a mess there. Go away. Right. All right. So what have I got here? A little bit of red. Uh, where do I need some red here? Have to admit that's kind of pretty. And I have some of that, which can be laid over here. These colours are a bit muddy now, so we'll just leave those over there for the time being. And might have a go with this. Oh, I could put some white between them. Actually, what I might do is this, put the white between it and give it a tilt. See what happens. Some white in here. And some black, I think. Yes. So good. So we had some black around here and there. Whoops.
let's not forget the red. So we've got spaces here. Here, right. Oh. Is that got paint? Yeah, that's all got paint. That's good. So I'll take it over this corner first, I think. see what I'm doing. down that way just to stretch those colours out a little bit right those are the fingerprints well that's quite pretty isn't it Pipe onto it. I actually think I can get rid of that end. It's uh, uninteresting. So I'm just going to do this. Let it run down, get rid of it. Right. See, that's much nicer, I think. How pretty. Oh goodness. Not really anywhere to put it. <laughs> put it on there. It always amazes me when you do that. Quite often you'll get some really nice um, patterns on your fingers. Well, that's a bit different. And I know that I actually think it needs a bit of something else. So I'll just get a plastic bag, suffocate it. No, I won't. Chucky cocoa actually. I like it. So here we go. We're going to have a bit of red right there and some white. I think that'll come out. Yes. 
and maybe a better black. Right, she said, let's see how we go. Get a bit more white out of that. Come on, don't be shy. Okay, and a tad of red. And some red over here. Okay, so I'm happy. My flowers have come up nice. And I'm just going to torch it. See if we get any magic cells. It'd be nice if they were. The red's got the silicon, so. So the recipes for the paint and pouring medium you'll find below show more under the video. If you haven't already subscribed please do, click the little bell and you'll be notified then as I put up more videos into YouTube. And I'm not getting a lot of cells, probably because I've been squishing the paint around, slipping and slurping. Silicon's not all that forgiving, but I like this one very much. And yeah, I'm just letting it settle for a second before I bring it down to show it to you. Whew. Very warm tonight. All right, I'm going to bring you down to have a look and. As I said, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Click the little bell and you'll be notified then as I put up more videos into YouTube. And here we are with flowers. And at least I think they look like flowers. You're probably saying, where, where's the flowers? <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's late here and I'm probably seeing things. I like the way the black has stayed nice and black and hasn't gone, well, most of it hasn't gone too grey, which is what happens sometimes. That corner's rather pretty. And uh, some more flowers. One day you never know, I might be able to do one of these flower things with a balloon or with a plastic bag. I have better luck with the plastic bag than the balloon and get something that looks like my friend Gilly from up north. Hey Gilly! She does some amazing stuff. In fact, 
what I might do underneath this video you'll find a link to uh, one of her brilliant uh, paint, paintings where she does some of her balloon kisses unbelievable she's a total inspiration she's almost a neighbour she's only like 2,000 kilometres north of me <laughs> I'm in Bundaberg and Gilly's up north Right, I really like that little cat. He's kind of cute. All right, thank you very much for watching and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.